Good evening, I'm Nicole Karkic. We had severe thunderstorm watches and warnings in place through portions of southern Ontario. Uh, they have been dropped. We're just looking at some watches and warnings as we track east. So think Cornwall, east towards Kingston, the Ottawa region as well. Now it's still really hot, humid, a little bit sticky outside, and that could produce some locally convective thunderstorms. But general point. Coming up, we will talk about if you could see some storms tonight and what happens in the long range forecast as well because there is the potential for active weather again tomorrow so I'll give you the timing on that. Let's check in with Kasia Badurka right now who's in Toronto hanging out near Billy Bishop uh, Airport. Kasia what can you tell us? Okay. We're looking for the biggest risk of active weather east of Toronto and it's actually from Kingston east towards Ottawa and then stretching towards southern Quebec, including the city of Montreal. So that's really the biggest threat tonight at this point. The area is marked in red, seeing that potential for heavy downpours, large size hail, uh, gusty winds too. Now some regions, yes, behind the cold front could still see some showers, maybe some pop-up thunderstorms, but the threat really has ended across the greater Toronto region at this point, towards Barrie, towards Hamilton, towards St. Catharines, you name it. As I mentioned, it's east. Now, for what's happening into the overnight hours along that cold front, it's going to break up the humidity a little bit, so a little bit more comfortable tomorrow. We're going to see some northerly winds, and yes, sunshine on Thursday afternoon, but there is a little bit of a risk for some thunderstorms again. These should be really non-severe in nature. They should be fairly brief, and not everyone will see them. Coming up, we'll tell you when we could see some sunshine in the forecast and when we're getting in a stretch of really nice dry weather. Good evening, I'm Nicole Karkic. Earlier today, we did have a risk of seeing some isolated thunderstorms in southern Ontario, including the city of Toronto, Hamilton, St. Catharines, Guelph was included, Barrie as well. Those have been dropped. The threat is really gone and it's pushing east towards the Ottawa Valley and towards the city of Montreal and portions of Quebec. But we'll talk about where we could see the development of thunderstorms again in your long range forecast. But let's check in with Mark Robinson who is hanging out in southwestern Ontario where earlier this evening they did see some storm cells. In southwestern Ontario, around Stratford, around Windsor, around London, there were reports already this evening of heavy downpours and golf ball sized hail as well. So they really saw a lot of activity there. Uh, we seem to be safe here now uh, in the greater Toronto region. And really this area marked in red is where we could see Heavy downpours, large size hail, wind gusts over 100 kilometers an hour tonight, so it's shifted east. And it's all along this cold front right here, that's that blue line. Earlier today we did have a Humidex advisory in place in southern Ontario, or rather it was a special weather statement because of the humidity. It felt closer to 40 in the greater Toronto region. That front is going to break up the humidity a little bit as we head into tomorrow, and by the afternoon we're going to see some northerly winds sustained between 10 to 15 kilometers an hour, and then as we push to Friday, that's when you can finally see sunshine throughout the day from the Kawartha Lakes down towards Muskoka region, uh, Toronto, Windsor, Sarnia, London, you name it. It's going to be a really nice Friday afternoon and a nice break after this week with, of course, the flooding stories on Monday. Thursday, I do want to mention... Again, yes, there's about a 30 to 40 percent chance, maybe even 60 percent chance in some areas. We've marked in yellow to see thunderstorms. They should be brief, and it's not going to be a washout tomorrow by any means. But of course, back on Monday, it was a washout event. So lots of people, of course, in cleanup mode for today. And a look at the numbers. I mean, it was a historic day. Pearson International Airport, 126 millimeters of rain, and that's now the all-time record for a one-day rainfall. Usually, we don't even see 126 millimeters of rain in the entire month of July. So that's how it played out. Again tonight, the risk for severe weather really is shifting east. We did see some passing showers through the greater Toronto region. Now we're in the clear, and that's certainly the good news story. Looking ahead at our long range forecast, things clear out nicely for the weekend. Coming up, we'll talk about where we could still see active weather tomorrow in parts of southern Ontario. 
Good evening, I'm Nicole Karkic. We've been following a line of storms that are pushing through southern Ontario. Now at this point, there are still severe thunderstorm watches in place, but they're east of the city of Toronto. Think the Kingston corridor towards Ottawa and then into Quebec, including the city of Montreal. But it looks like we're really in the clear from what we thought would be severe storms again tonight in the Toronto region, around Barrie, around Hamilton as well. We did see some passing showers, yes, but the severe storms have been in the southwest and to the east of us. So we're sort of the bookmarked by these two severe areas of concern. Uh, let's check in with Kasia Badurka, who's hanging out in Toronto. Luckily, uh, it's cleared out for you tonight as you're outside. Still, though, a little bit humid this evening. Thanks, Kasia. Now, there still this evening is a 30 to 40 percent chance of seeing some precipitation. So, yes, you could see some showers, maybe some pop-up thunderstorms. But as I mentioned, the severe thunderstorm watch has been dropped from Toronto all the way down to Windsor. Still included is Cornwall, Kingston, Ottawa, over towards the city of Montreal. So the area marked in red that you can see highlighted right here, that is where we're seeing the heavy downpours tonight. The large size hail, the wind gusts potentially being really strong. Uh, we sort of dodged a bullet today. The front has, ahead of the front, we saw storms bubbling up and we saw passing showers in Toronto. So really, it was a good thing after Monday, of course. Now, speaking of Monday, L there, and I was just on Twitter, and Toronto Hydro said that uh, this evening they're only dealing with about 100 people that are still offline, and a huge improvement compared to earlier today when it was closer to over 1,000 people. Now, look at this cold front right here. That is going to push through the area. It's going to clear out temperatures and humidity as well. It's already dropped our temperatures down significantly for this evening. Toronto got up to 31 today and for the evening we're holding at about 25, 26 degrees. Northerly winds for Thursday morning and afternoon and then by Friday that's finally when we start to see some sunshine. I do want to mention that Thursday again, yes, sorry to say it, we could see some isolated non-severe thunderstorms. Coming up we'll talk about how the weekend looks in southern Ontario. Again, it was active weather in Ontario today. It was centered in the southwest this afternoon, however. You can hear people screaming in the very strong winds and the heavy downpours in Grand Bend earlier today. We did well. What we're looking at now is where the active weather is, and it's cleared out of Toronto, cleared out of Hamilton, cottage country as well, and it's really shifted east from the Ottawa Valley towards the city of Montreal. That's where we could still see the development of severe weather this evening, thankfully. And it's a good thing that we didn't see the flooding rains again. Now, Toronto did see some passing showers yes and it was all along this cold front right here but it didn't see as much energy as it was in the southwest it was a little bit more humid there and they got some really bad storms today now it's shifted towards Ottawa Montreal dealing with active weather tomorrow afternoon too what we have for Thursday morning to look forward to is a shift in the winds they're going to be out of the north and that's going to funnel in some cooler air it's not going to be as humid as earlier and we're going to breathe a sigh of relief because you could see the sunshine tomorrow. However, you could see some convective weather into the afternoon on Thursday. So this is the region that could see some isolated thunderstorms. They should be brief. It's not a washout by any means. And by Friday, really great conditions. It's going to be sunny and beautiful. Now back on Monday, of course, many people were dealing with the flooding in southern Ontario. A lot of people have their own stories to share. And still, as of early this morning, Hundreds of people were without power. The Weather Network right now is looking back at the historic flooding. It, of course, was an epic night, but a lot of people are asking, what exactly happened? Well, we're showing you the radar returns from Monday evening. These thunderstorms are known as trailing thunderstorms. They were moving very slowly, which allowed them to produce a lot of rain in a very short period of time. And you can see the heavy rain that tracked on through the regions. Well, coming up, stay tuned because we're going to show you more images from the historic flooding that we saw on Monday and tell you if this could happen again into your weekend.